Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to D Diets. How are you? I have been challenged again. Ch challenged again, for goodness sakes. Anyway, I have been challenged from Peace and Eats. Hi, Jules. <laughs> this is the naughty challenge. Oh, yeah, you have to say some naughty things about yourself. And I'm going to tag people. Oh, and that's Riley in the background. And I'm so going to tag some people in this challenge. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So let's start this challenge. The challenge you can ask, you can maybe point out three or four things that you've been naughty about over whatever span of time you want to choose and then tag three additional people. But I think I'll be tagging more than just three. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, let's see. When I was, let's see, in seventh grade, me and my girlfriend, Patty, hi Patty, were going to Eisenhower Park that is in Long Island and our mothers were the class mothers. Oh yes, they used to go on bus trips and the mothers would like volunteer. So our mothers volunteered and they both told us, do not go in the water. Do not go in the water. You're not permitted to go in the water. Well, hand in hand, we just walked into the water <laughs> and we did and we did. And of course, we were in so much trouble, but at that point, we didn't even care. We were soaking wet. All the other kids weren't, but we were. And of course, our mothers were there. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a way of embarrassing our mothers. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. When I was, I have a little notes over here. When I was 19 and I went to the Bahamas with a group of people, I went skinny dipping. Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Oh, my goodness. We had so much fun. It was a mixed crowd. A mixed crowd. Can you imagine? Now, I'd never do it again because I'd scare the fish. At this point, the people would go running out, and I think the, the fish would end up having legs and just run, run right out of the water. Uh, let's see. Oh, when I was about seven years old, there was a candy store that I lived near, and it was such a cute little candy store, and they don't have those nowadays, but they had them when I was growing up with the little soda fountains and stuff, and you can go get a banana split or a soda or an egg cream. But of course, there was abundance of candy. And when I was seven, I used to love sweet tots. Now they still have sweet tots, but when I was little, sweet tots were like this big. Yeah, they were, they were this big. And two came in a package for a dime. So I only had a nickel, so it went into my pocket. <laughs> I stole my sweet tots. Seven years old, I was a criminal, a criminal. Um, oh, at 16, I tried the pot. Yes, I did, I tried the marijuana. Didn't do anything for me. I had to try it a few other times. Did something, got paranoid. I thought, well, I won't be doing that again. Don't like it, but I did try it at 16 years old. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, <laughs> again, at 16 years old, I just, well, I was smoking naturally. And my mother found the pack of cigarettes and I blamed it on my girlfriend, Linda. Hi, Linda, if you're listening to this, we're still friends. <laughs> But I said, they're hearts, they're heart cigarettes. They were Newports. Yeah, they were. And uh, I, I, I told, and believe my father came home. I got it. I got it good. So I took the baiting. I took the baiting. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I lied, right, to my mother and my father. Uh, let's see what else I have over here. Oh, when I was about 10 years old. Now, again, I'm going to say this again to everybody. I'm 61, so the, things have changed in the years. When I was 10 years old, I walked into my neighbor's house when they weren't home because nobody locked their doors then. Nobody locked their doors. Oh, heavens no. No, everybody had their doors open, windows. You never locked unless you were going on a vacation. So I was going over to look for my friend. He wasn't home. They weren't home. I decided to turn the television on, go in the kitchen, make a milkshake, and sit in the living room. I got in a lot of trouble for that when his parents came home. I didn't clean up the mess. The evidence was all there. It was all there. Um, oh, when I was 18 years old and getting ready to graduate high school, I decided to cut gym for the entire semester to be with my boyfriend. May he rest in peace. And no, I did not murder him or anything. It's, he just passed, not maybe 10, 15 years ago. But I cut the whole entire year, so I couldn't graduate with my class. I was able to walk, get the fake diploma, but I had to go to night school. Yeah. I had to go to night school to make up a quarter of a credit. Can you imagine? A quarter of a credit. I did it. I got my big diploma. I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, another thing of mine is I cannot, I have a short fuse. I really do. I have a really short fuse. It's very nasty about me, but I do have it. Like if you're stupid, like I have no time for you. And I just sort of blow people off when I see stupidity. And believe me, I have seen stupidity over my lifetime. And I just can't deal with it. So I just let it go. I just let it go. Not that I'm a little stupid at times myself, but oh my goodness, some people, they just aggravate my last nerve. Aggravate my last nerve. So we're into this video five minutes. See, it's not that bad of a video. Now, you're only supposed to call out three people to do this naughty challenge. But let me take off my glass. Oh, hello. Yes, it's morning. Ooh, Lord. Anyway, you're only supposed to tag three people in this challenge, but Jules, I took a little bit more, just, just so that you know. So are you prepared to do the naughty challenge, Vicky's World? Hello. <laughs> oh, yes. How about you, Kaylee? Would you like to do the challenge? Dante James, you could do it too. MRTV. Hello, Maria. Another challenge. Jill's Comfort Zone. Hello, Jill. Promo STK. You and Frank could do this challenge. What are some of the naughty things you've done? Oh, my goodness. See, this is going to really... A day in the life of Michelle. There you go. You do the challenge too, Michelle. Uh, Chef RJ, Soul Food, and more. I'd like to see you do the challenge. I want you to know the list is gigantic. And one more because I'm not going to scream everybody out. If you want to do the challenge, my God, do the challenge. LBV with Brenda. Yes. Now, that's all you have to do. So you can tell a little naughty story of some of the things you might have done uh, that you may not be too proud of. But you know what? It's a way of getting to know each other, isn't it? Isn't it? And I really can't say I did anything bad in my 30s, to be honest with you, or my 40s. My husband just said I was the most angelic I could possibly be. You believe that. You believe in the Easter Bunny. I'll talk to you all soon, my friends. Be kind to one another. The heart, that's really all that matters. Thank you, Jules, from Peace and Eats, which is going to be right over here. Please go to her channel. And if you do this challenge, hashtag Peace and Eats, so she has the chance to see you do the challenge. Take it easy, my friends. Have a great day. Bye-bye.